Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. No, never mind. <laughs> Need to find a way forward. And I'm thinking. Good job. Good job, Eva. Well no. Not well met. No. <laughs> I was supposed to be. Oh, never mind. For some reason I thought I will I am um, hmm. resistant to oh, resistant to fire. Never mind. Um Okay. That's not good. Do you Okay, that's better. There's also no way for us to go away from here. So honestly, the only way is forward. Wait, is it still there? And mold. But they still need the lava to bind them. Yeah. Run! I wonder if this is worth the cost. <laughs>
methods now, too. Find the fault. Why not? through.
Yeah, I was talking and apparently my microphone was muted. Okay. He needs to be close, right? Yep. That makes sense. A stitch in time saves. Hmm. Well, is that? I need you to be closer to me. What do you mean he has no? Yeah, but now he can jump. This is such bullshit. <laughs> really? It's bullshit. What do you mean you're not enough movement? You can shoot him, goddammit. Stand here. Get over there. Can you heal yourself? If I understand correctly, the lava should see it now. Okay, the lava is flowing. He is still super heated. Stop moving! Let's wait! Okay, great. Grimskull Helm. Attackers can plant critical hits on the wearer, grants resistance to fire damage. Hunter's Mark, level 1, and it's a heavy armor. Okay! I don't have the... Neither. Oh, you do. A spell on will. Take you. My time's running out. Let's get going. Let's rest. <sighs> oh, and methods, of course, methods. If not over, then through. Okay, so I think that's it that we can do over here. Better not be cursed. I mean, no, I don't have any more mithril. I have adamantine, but not mithril. So right now we have this fancy weapon. Diamond span. If an adamantine weapon hits an object, the hit is always critical. Wait, it is adamantine? Hmm. 
Oh, it's too small and damaged to be of any use. Okay, okay. I get it now. Please, hit the button. <laughs> Which way did we come? I think it's... yeah, came from there. Let's save. No time to rest. The lava's erupting! Better watch my step. Never wanted the easy path. Can't we just go... This way. Where am I? Come on! <sighs> well... Get everyone here. Karlak! 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 Oh, I really thought Shadowheart and Nazel might fight the death over that artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. <laughs> I did not expect that. I just wanted the car like to move. Okay, gaze is form on you. You're gonna split. You're going over there. Cannot find path. Great. Two steps at a time. What the fuck? Um, you, you. Wait, give me a moment. Can you jump over there? Cannot reach. Cannot reach. Can you hide? <laughs> Wait. Mm. Missed a step. Why can't cast it? Oh. Okay, I made that decision myself. Anyone else has Misty Step? Invisibility. Come on, come on, come on Carla. Take it. Cast it. Okay, that will be. Heal her just in case. Don't touch me. You. Thank you. This is why I wanted her. Careful, I bind. Okay. He has one more turn. Can you get anywhere? No. Come on, let's go. You just stay there. Could have. Trust me. Can't 
reach, can't reach. Click your uh, wait. Jumping is a bonus action, so it has to step here. I don't want to fight with him right now. Not after the boss fight. No, 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 up here. Okay, please open it. You get my inspiration. Sentient amulet. Uh, talk to sentient amulet. <laughs> the amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <laughs> Can thou endure? Can I? Okay, let's try. No, we are laughing. There's no escaping the laughter. Telepathic mushrooms, walking brains. It's all so comical. <laughs> Return you where? To whom? To my granddaughter, Shira Klarwin. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> Are you a ghost? What happened to you? A ghost? Sunlight on water, dew on grass. Sharon's broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> hmm. Thou shalt return me home. It is written. Examine it. Come on, tell me everything. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. Focus on this entity. What are its intentions? Beneath the rampant joy, you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you. That doesn't mean he won't. Mm hmm. Consider the inscribed image. What could it mean? At first, I thought it was Mistress, but Mistra is seven stars above the flowing river, so that's the not it. The image is striking, but you find no meaning in it. I'll take you to your granddaughter at Worms Crossing. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> okay. Done. It shall be. Hooray! 
Wait, is that all that's here? No, there is a way. Wait. Ah, that's the way up here. Okay, but I'm probably sure this is all. There were supposed to be... We still have quest for the fort. And the cure... We read a book about the lost Prince Orpheus. It claims that Vlakiv is not the true queen of the Kifianki and that Prince Orpheus is the true heir. Um, I don't see anything about the... Oh, there it is. Completed, 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 completed. So, okay, I assume this is just... Oops showing me that there is the eh oh by the way not you not you but me where is the amulet where's the thing oh there it is use it maybe there's something new Curious ornate box. Yes. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. Investigation. Maybe we'll find something new. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. What a pretty thing. I imagine it's dangerous. Most pretty things are. Hmm. Okay, nothing new. So, I think it's all to be done here. But, ah, uh, there's still this... This place. I don't know why this is still labeled. We've been there. Power reserve. Okay, let's go back here. I want to. I don't remember. Did we pay a visit? Wait, where was it? I think it was up here. Mm, oh, up here. With uh, Shadow Heart. Uh, it wasn't here. It was. Yeah, she was with us. Yep, yep, yep. We had her there. There has to be another way in. Okay, never mind that. So the only thing left for us to do really is... By the way, let's visit the Emerald Grove because we s had a letter talking about a traitor among them. So let's pay them a visit. Just one, well, one last time, I guess, before we venture forth. And we still haven't found a way through the under dark. Hmm. Oh. Just in case she want to fight, that. Fi well, she will want to fight us. Safe for now. Enough of the act. I've learned of your alliance with Shadow Druids. Have you now? And you thought you should tell me? We will execute the Rite of Thorns, and you will give no more complaint. In fact, you will be gone before the sun next sets on the grove. Like hell, I will. <laughs> oh, fight her. Oh, I have key now. <laughs> I have key now, okay. Good, 
gods you are hitting low now. Broodmother's Revenge. Venom's Revenge. Whenever the wearer is healed, the weapon becomes coated in magic and does additional poison damage. Good berry. It's hard to say when this key was crafted, but it's been kept in immaculate condition. And a whole chicken! Let's be on my way. Okay, let's go no. down here. No. Oh, actually... It'll take a while for us all to recover. Of course. Okay, give me a moment. I'll try my best to make... Not peace, but... <laughs> uh, oh, the mansion door! Ooh. Okay, I'll just sell the crap we don't need, so be right back. Okay, we are back. I made. I cleaned my inventory, I sold and gave away some of my stuff. So there's that. Okay. So, I guess this, the time has finally come when we are leaving act one i think you you are now responsible by your efforts sylvanas's grace can be restored to the grove may he always share your stride no Where is she? Oh, here. Here is Snetty. Sylvanas be with you, my friend. That's all. Okay, never mind then. No one wants to hear about her. Um, let's go back to the Underdark. It just feels to me that we still have so much things to do. I still didn't find the gnomes or anyone in the fort. Why I didn't find anyone in the fort? I don't know. Probably they all did. Yeah. What do we need to do? Like I said, save my kin. And if you don't know, longer than I'd like. There's no one there. Don't tell me a screw. Reach Moonrise Towers for Grimford. Okay, for uh, Grimford, Grimford, Grimford. I assume for that we have this weird lantern that we don't know how to use. Um, it's here. See, there is someone when we are trying to interact with the elevator, but there's just no one here apparently. Okay, so let's just go. You are about to progress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. I did not tie more all of those ends because there are just no gnomes in the Grimford at all. And so we are leaving Act 1. After... what is it? I think 24 or 25 hours. Moving ahead. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. Keep a blade close. 
<laughs> Easy. Axe of Hildren's string. Ooh! Car! Karlak, that's something for you. Hey, good looking. At least things have stayed interesting. On the black. We offer ourselves to the darkness that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. Hmm. She's so sad. Hmm. Time to press ahead. Okay, we don't know where we are. That's a long way down. Oh. Hi. I should speak up. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? Yeah, we know. Yeah, he's resting in camp. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? It would be my pleasure. And I would confirm it to be so. Please, after you. That was fast. Okay, so Gale? No, Karlak. Oh, there they are. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah, and yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it yes girl where is your decorum oh for the love of fine fine i'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me graver matters are at hand plenty to digest after all Good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gale, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. You were sent here as an actual divine messenger. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. 
But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. If even the ghosts know, why are we facing these threats alone? They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself, and by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress belief that only you can. Gale alone? How so? The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. That's monstrous. You're asking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. There is still a long way, long journey ahead. We will find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas. So too, the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Hmm. 
audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. I would always imagine Elminster to be more imposing. The Doddering Act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering doing what our minister said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. There's surely another way. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I'll make sure we find it. I promise. Hmm. Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the absolute and stop its beating. Mm. Okay, definitely not that way. For now, I want to stash some things, I think. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be sending supply packs. What's in here? I want to check what's in here. What's in it? This might not be mine, I'm not quite sure. I am kinda lazy when it comes to organizing Seems like a good our to equipment. Oh, was that Gail's granddad? That was El Mr. Omar, the most famous wizard in the realms. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gail if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. She is so cheerful. <sighs> I don't think it was. It turns out Gail has an explosive bomb in his chest. And Mistra has asked him to use it to blow up the heart of the Absolute. <laughs> Whoa now, he's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra... I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? I think he's going to follow through with it. <laughs> Fuck me. There's devotion and then there's stupidity. If the god of magic can't handle this without sacrificing Gale, she's no god at all. <sighs> Poor Gale. He must be in bits after hearing that i'll distract him tell him i haven't read a book since secondary school <laughs> watch his face melt off she's so sweet oh a shame my first brush with the famed elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic listen I might invoke the Triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death, among countless others, to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned! Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. 
I hope he'll come to see that. Hopefully. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Scale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Mm. You're probably happy about that, so we can take his stuff. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. The druid is gone. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tirsu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistress concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. You found compassion? You really did? That's amazing. Oh, there is Halsin. But no way there's. And where are Scratches? The Shadow Curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. Where. In the midst of, our, of the Shadow Curse now, is there anyone we can tell me about how to live it? This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being, in the form of a young fey boy, with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. What should I look for exactly? I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. Okay, still feeling at home here with us. The surroundings are less bucolic, I understand. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. Is there something I can do to take your mind off things, perhaps? Hmm. I can think of a thing or two. But, in truth, it is for the best that the curse consumes my thoughts for now. This is the best chance I've had in a century. I cannot squander it. But, if I succeed, if I break the curse, then perhaps there will be time for myself again. And for others.
Okay, and I think I'm gonna end this part here before we advance anything. So now thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon. Bye!